Hello guys, it's Alex here with the Renegade Tech, and today I'm going to be talking about uh, grading CineStyle in Final Cut Pro X. CineStyle is a, uh, a very neutral picture style, and it's actually super flat like. So when I go back to here, I'll show you guys what it looks like. This is what it looks like without CineStyle engaged. It's a very flat and neutral, and gives you a lot of room to color grade, but it looks very ugly in post. If you And if you're like me, I like it to at least have some visual reference point. And then, so I've created a preset that'll give you guys a lot of that thing, that flow back and how it naturally will look and gives you a lot of more rich colors. And this is free. There is some, uh, an effect out there called DSLR log to video. And this costs, I think, 30 bucks and is uh, kind of expensive in, to my taste. So I just decided, you know what, heck, I'll release something for free so you guys can. Uh, do this for free. This is actually the preset right here, or the uh, their effect you can drag over, and it's it's pretty similar. It's a little bit off, but I got it as close as I could. The uh, I think mine actually gives you a little bit in the uh, gives you a little bit more room to uh, more. It's not quite as contrasty as theirs, so it gives you a little bit more room. And here's another example. Here's my uh, dark footage right here. And here's theirs, the preset for theirs, roughly the same point, not exactly, about the same. I think they, I got it pretty close, so I might have a link in the description for you guys to download that preset. But what I normally do, I'll show you what I do, is I kind of step it down, I kind of bring the midtones down a little bit. And what I've done is I've done this, and brought down the shadows to 13 per, negative 13, midtones negative 3, and highlights I brought them up to 17%. And that's pretty much it. And then... I did a, I changed a little bit with the saturation. I went uh, global saturation down negative two, and then brought the highlights up saturation up by one. So that's where I got a pretty close looking image. I haven't messed with color at all. So that's so you guys can still do all the color grading and stuff. So say I wanted a more cinematic look, like I'll show you what I have done on this one. I actually enabled the letterboxing and color like I've done on this one. I've kind of got brought the uh, brought the color back up on this one go over here and you guys can see I've kind of brought the color back up and I've made this very very dark kind of sinister looking noir-esque look but I've created the preset it's down in the description if you want to download it link in the description uh, it's very simple all you have to do I think believe is double click on it it should open in Final Cut Pro if not I'll have it down in the description below I will have the way to install it Thanks, guys. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe.